Up first tonight, a special election to fill a vacant Pennsylvania House seat will happen simultaneously with the primary election. Good evening, I'm Ann Lurie. And I'm Aaron Leedy. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar spoke with the Wayne County Elections Director this afternoon and joins us live tonight to break it all down. Jake. Ann and Aaron, it's been nearly two months since the 139th district has been without a state representative. Now a special election in the, few, in the next few weeks will change that. Pennsylvania's primary is three weeks away with candidates eyeing to become party nominees in the general. Some districts, like the 139th, have a unique election cycle this year. In January, State Representative Joe Adams announced that he would not seek re-election. Less than a month later, he resigned. He did decide, due to health reasons in his family, that he was actually going to resign from the position. Wayne County Elections Director Amy Christopher says the position has been vacant since. According to Pennsylvania law, the House Speaker selects the date for the special election. The notification must be given to county boards and the Secretary of the Commonwealth at least 60 days before that election. It was very good timing that the primary election was coming up and that it met that window of 60 days. Director Christopher says hosting a special election the same day as a primary allows the county to preserve resources. Robin Skibber, a Democrat, and Jeff Olsimer, a Republican, are the nominees for the special election to finish out the remainder of Adams' term. The 139th district covers both Pike and Wayne counties. Now, unlike a primary, the special election allows voting like it's a general election. It's only 10 of our voting districts out of the 35. Anyone that is registered to vote is eligible to vote in the special election. Voting differs for a primary since Pennsylvania's is closed. Registered Republicans can only vote for Republican candidates and vice versa for registered Democrats. In that race, Skibber is seeking the Democratic nomination, whereas Olsimer and Matthew Contreras are seeking the Republican nomination. Now, the winners of the primary will face off in the November general election, regardless of who wins the special election. Now, that special election and the primary will both be held on Tuesday, April 23rd, with polls closing at 8 p.m. here in the Commonwealth. Of course, to stay up to date with the latest election news and polling as it comes on through, stick with us here on Fox 56. Live tonight, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10.